Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Buccaneer Bunnies by Foreshadow Games, LLC. It plays two players, it's for ages 13 and up, and it takes about 10 to 25 minutes to play. And in the game Buccaneer Bunnies, you're going to be utilizing these cannons, your crew, and of course your modifier slash action cards to defeat your opponents. This is Alicia, she's joining me for the review. She played the game with us. Say hello. Hi, I'm Alicia. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go ahead and explain how the game is played, as well as uh, how the setup works. And then we're also going to give you our review for the game. And if you're interested in picking it up, I believe the Kickstarter is in February. And there will be a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick up the game Buccaneer Bunnies. To start the game, you set aside the cannons, the coins, and the deck. You'll shuffle the deck of cards up, and then you're going to go ahead and place five cannons in front of each player. Then, after that, you're going to deal out six cards from the red deck to each player that is playing the game. And basically, all the coins here are basically going to just be stacked up so that people can gather them whenever they defeat or destroy a crew member or a cannon from the opposing side. Pretty simple. You'll start your turn by drawing a card, and then you can play one crew and one modifier or an action. The crew must be placed face down, and then you'll place your modifier or action face up. You're also going to go ahead, and if you have a crew that you have played on a previous turn, you can flip that crew member over. And that will allow you to utilize that crew for its ability, and of course its action, and most importantly, its attack. And the way an attack works is it will designate a certain number of crew and or cannons on your opposing side, and destroy those. Destroying things is the most important thing in the game, because what happens when you destroy a thing? You get a coin. That's right, you get one of these babies here. And if you can get how many? 10 coins. Then you're gonna win the game. The other way you win the game is if all five of your cannons are immobilized, if they have become destroyed by abilities, actions, and or attacks from the crew members. But after you go ahead and um, choose to flip your crew or not, you can go ahead and replace your cannons just before you attack. Replacing cannons is simple. You can flip any of your ones that have been destroyed face up again, but that means that they can be destroyed next turn. After doing that, then you can choose any one of your crew members, or of course the captain, to attack. Now, just like she said, you can place a crew member face down once per turn, but you may only ever have one captain face up on the board on your side of the field. After you choose to attack, it's basically going to elaborate as to what it does and what it targets and what it destroys. Then you'll gather your coins and end turn and the next player will get a chance to go. And it simply rinses and repeats. I go ahead and take my turn by drawing a card, playing down cards, playing an action, and then of course flipping over a guy if I can to attack, pass my turn, and then she goes rinse and repeat until basically nine, ten coins is gathered and you win or if you manage to defeat all ten, five cannons on your opponent's side of the board. Pretty simple. Okay, so let's talk about the game now. Okay, so what did I think and what did you think about Buccaneer Bunnies? We'll go in categorical order. Now, first things first is, of course, the gameplay of the game. Uh, in my opinion, this game plays for younger kids and or families. It's a two-player game, so it only focuses on two people, and you have your cannons out, and you're basically trying to defeat each other. And uh, it's very simple. You're going to have crew members you can play face down and action slash modifiers. I like the gameplay in the terms of the modifiers because they can hinder or help depending on if you play it on your opponent or on yourself. And I really enjoy the fact that the game is very easy to learn. There is a strict and straightforward turn summary, which is described here in the rulebook. And you can go through it, go down in order. And after you play maybe one or two rounds, you instantly understand the game. So that's pretty much what I enjoyed about it. Uh, you got anything to say about the gameplay? Yeah, I enjoyed that it was pretty understandable and enjoyable to play. Um, and I guess I don't super like that it's uh, mostly up to chance. Um, I would like to play like a more strategic game. Yeah, so this one's definitely based on what cards you draw, right? Now there is some strategy as well as luck. Luck comes into what cards you get. Mm -hmm. And then the strategy comes into where you place your bunnies and what your bunnies choose to attack and when you choose to attack with them. But of course you can draw a whole handful of action cards or a whole handful of crew members. And if that happens, you're focusing on one aspect of the game. Whereas if you have a majority of cards, then you can kind of do more things with it. So there is there is modifiers to the chance, but there's a lot of chance as well as to what cards you get. And of course, when you can play them and how many times you wanna flip over your cannons because every time I flip one over, it was potentially going to be lost the next turn. And you have to make this like decision uh, if you wanna do that or not. 
artwork. Artwork for the game is cute. It's family friendly, it's kid friendly. It's one of those games where I see it and I go, okay, I imagine a younger audience is going to enjoy this type of a game. It is, is kind of made for like those mm, Saturday morning type cartoons with the different little cats. I'm not a huge fan of the- Bunnies, not cats. Cats, okay. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the graphic design. I think it could be cleaned up or even just make it a, a full art type of a card or a full bordered card, something, something a little, little different with that as well as of course I wouldn't mind a background on most of the cards it's very straightforward which is nice really easy for young players to understand but that being said it's kind of blank in certain areas and this is a prototype so I can't say for certain what is going to change or what won't change because yes prototypes change as we move along but as far as our work goes it's very family friendly kid friendly but I think graphic design could be improved and maybe some of the details and changes uh, on some of the artwork for the cats would be nice as well is agree same same yeah. yeah yeah bunnies could be cuter the bunnies could be cuter <laughs> she wants cuter bunnies these are more yes. like piratey like uh, you know they're like oh, i gotta swab the deck <laughs> um replayability the gameplay is uh, consistently different every time you play you get different kinds of cards different kinds of captains uh, characters and usable actions i really enjoy the actions in this game they let you devastate your opponent or help yourself there's certain cool combos that I didn't see or foresee in the game. Like she played one of the bunnies that usually will be removed after they are used, but she also had a modifier that says a bunny in this area can't be destroyed. So normally a bunny can be destroyed by another attack or by a card or by itself. And now this bunny who's really powerful, who's supposed to leave, is staying on the board until I deal with that card. So there are some unique little combinations in the game. And she, she cheats basically. <laughs> oh no, I'm just really good at games. She beats me every single game. <laughs> uh, this game is quick to learn, easy to play, easy to read the rules. We, we got through this game in really like 20 minutes to figure out how it was fully played, got through the game in about 15 to 20 minutes. So everything the box explains is utterly correct as to how the game works. Uh, in my opinion, yes, this is for a younger audience. Some players who are more into the more deep strategy, deep thinking modern board games won't like it, but people who are into more of like the exploding kittens uh, type of a game or like unstable unicorns uh, that want a two player experience will most likely enjoy the game. <laughs> anyway, uh, those those are pretty much what I had to say about the game. If you're interested in picking up the game, there's a link down below in the description where you can pick it up on Kickstarter. And uh, you're getting a uh, short notice. I'll also post down the Facebook page and the YouTube channel so you can go ahead and take a look and subscribe to them if you would like as well. Anything else to say about Buccaneer Bunnies? Um, I think you pretty much hit all of the main points. It was an enjoyable game, but yeah, I wish I didn't run out of cards so easily because I was left with one card at the end. You still won. <laughs> how many points did you get at the end of the game? Ten. And how many did I get? Like, what, three? I don't know. Three, yes. <laughs> so and she... you got those three points, like, at the very end. <laughs> Buccaneer bunnies. Take a look down below. <laughs> Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Review. If you like this stuff, you can go ahead and push that like button, comment down below what you think, and of course, as well, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, notification button, it's down here somewhere, right by my chest, and uh, you'll be notified for more of our videos to see more games just like this one. If you want, as well, we stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one on our live streams on Facebook, Twitch, and then we put it up on YouTube on Monday. Except not today, because today we don't have a live stream from yesterday, so bear in mind with that. Also on filthygamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, we also do reviews that are written that you will not find on our YouTube channel for different games sent to Brian and our other writers. And if you wanna go ahead and check out that content, you can do so as well. And of course, if you would like, you can Patreon me. You can give me a dollar. That dollar will go a long way in helping ship games out to you for giveaways. It helps us keep our Discord running and some other odds and ends. The last thing is Moonshell. Moonshell should be shipping out now. Our deluxe inserts are in the mail and being sent to the distributor. So even you deluxified people should be getting your games very shortly, probably just after Christmas for the deluxe and just before, hopefully, for the base game. But it's roughly within the next three or four weeks. You like Moonshell, right? It, I do, it's a really fun game. That's right. I didn't pay her to say that at all. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a pretty cool puzzle game. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to, and when I say to, we pause for a second and, I, I, and we all go see you guys next time at the same time. Okay. Okay. And as always, I look forward to 
seeing you guys next time. That was so, that was so good. She's, she's natural, <laughs> unnatural. <laughs>